The eagerly awaited fourth season debuted in Israel in July 2022, before being made accessible to viewers worldwide on Netflix more than six months later. Doran Cavillio is seen to be broken and reclusive following the terrible conclusion of season three. Hezbollah in Lebanon, however, soon poses a fresh threat, drawing him back into the Israel-Palestine conflict. Here is all the information you require on the conclusion of Farda season 4. Doran withdrew to his farm, where he now resides alone, following Yara's death in season 3. Gabir Captain Ayub tries to reintegrate him after he severely beats a criminal attempting to steal one of his horses. In the meantime, Gabi's asset in Hezbollah in Brussels, Belgium, Omar Tawil, calls him and claims he is scared and wants to leave. Gabi travels to Brussels in an effort to appease him, and he persuades Doran to join him. Gabi pays a high price for not seeming to trust Doran's judgment in spite of this. Omar's employment by Hezbollah is made public. Before Gabi is kidnapped, a number of Israeli spies are slain. The nameless special forces team of Doran is prompted by this to travel to Brussels in search of Gabi. They locate Gabi in a residential building in the center of the city. Gabi is subjected to torture in exchange for information, and despite his initial intense resistance, his defenses gradually give way. One of the Hezbollah members shoots Gabi during the raid on the apartment building. Omar and his colleagues get Gabi out of the facility before Doran and the rest of the crew can release him, leaving behind so much of Gabi's blood that the Israeli authorities believe he has died. Actually, Omar transports him to Lebanon and gives him to senior Hezbollah figures. Doran won't accept Gabi's death, even though his own family does. Sagi and Nurit marry in the meantime, but their joy is short-lived. When Nurit finds out she is pregnant, she is unsure if she should keep the child. She appears to have lost interest in her job and worries about the future of the child, especially since both she and Sagi are special forces members. This feeling of disappointment is shared by many people. Eli says that he has been contemplating retirement for some time and gives Dana his notice after his wife tells him that she can no longer live like this. Steve's marriage disintegrates elsewhere. The management of the Jenin refugee camp is handled by his cousin Adele Tawil, while Omar prepares for their travel arrangements. He has grown to be as powerful and well-known, thanks to Hezbollah's support as some of Hamas's top figures. Adele's men kill a number of senior Israeli security officers using the information they obtained from Gabi. They also came for Doran and Dana. The assassin ordered to assassinate Doran is killed, while the assassin dispatched to Dana's house is caught. Maya, Lucy Aoub, Omar's sister, is a decorated Israeli police officer who is wed to a Jewish policeman. Raphael, the deputy director of Mossad, assumes control of Shin Bed and appoints Doran to a special mission as the situation with Omar begins to develop. They send Maya phony recordings of Omar pleading with her for assistance, and she ultimately chooses to cross the border into Lebanon to bring Omar and his wife two passports. Doran approaches her while posing as Salem, a human trafficker. Raphael quickly realizes the type of man he has chosen for the position and continues to label Doran as a psychopath. He repeatedly tells Doran to cancel the expedition, but he soon discovers that the man is on the warpath and rarely pays attention to anyone. Eventually, Doran locates Omar just as Hezbollah learns that Omar had concealed the fact that his sister was in the nation from them. Omar confesses that Gabi is alive and is currently being held by Hezbollah, out of a desperate attempt to stay alive and protect his sister and wife. Saadi and Nurit make decisions regarding their futures in the season 4 finale. Before accompanying the team as they travel into Jenin to deal with the biggest threat to Israel's security in recent years, Doran makes a vow to Dali that he will return. With Omar's assistance, Doran and his squad are able to free Gabi from Hezbollah's grasp. Gabi takes Doran's revolver and shoots Omar in retaliation for everything he has gone through and what he has been forced to divulge as they are about to board the chopper and fly home. Adele and his team's primary strategy is to launch an attack using the missiles they have amassed. When the IDF attacks one of their hiding places, they lose a sizable cache and Adele is forced to flee. They choose to employ the remaining missiles they have. Most are destroyed by the Iron Dome, but a few make it to the ground and murder numerous Israelis. Gabi makes the suggestion that they pose as Hamas members at Omar's funeral in order to drive Adele from the area. Adele does not possess the steely commitment of a revolutionary who is wholly committed to his cause, which would make him a genuinely deadly adversary. It's also not that he is cunning and ruthless and won't think twice about killing his own people if it advances a more important cause. 
Fidel is aware of the information that Gabi was made to divulge while being tortured, and Gabi freely admits to having given his adversaries everything. He holds a position of authority inside the Israeli government. That everything has the potential to be disastrous. Eli, Sagi, and Steve are killed by a sniper during the decisive battle in Jenin. Despite Doran's injuries, Russo and Adele are both killed. As the season comes to a close, we witness Doran on the ground, clinging to his friend's hands. It's improbable that Eli, Sagi, and Steve will all be dead in the upcoming fifth season, but it's probably reasonable to presume that at least one of them is. Numerous times, Fada has demonstrated that Doran is the only character in the program with plot armor. Eli may be the one in most risk of the three. Fada gave several characters heartbreaking resolutions. Eli's passing will have the most effect because he was planning to leave the forces soon. Additionally, it will emphasize how difficult it is for these troops to flee their lives.